How many Slack channels do you need? It's one of the most common questions that new Slack users ask me. The answer, of course, is nuanced. Let me explain. One of Slack's most useful features is its flexibility. In other words, the way that I might use it with some of my writing clients might be very different than the way that I would use it as a former college professor. Ditto for, say, a healthcare organization versus a retail organization. There's so many different ways to use Slack that one size certainly doesn't fit all. That flexibility, I would argue, is fundamentally a good thing. You don't have to cram a square peg into a round hole. However, that flexibility can sometimes be a curse. In other words, there is no one right answer for how many channels to set up. Now, I will say this. Avoid using duplicate channels. You don't need two or three different ones for company announcements or happy hours. It just doesn't make any sense. You're going to confuse people, right? You really want all of the communication in a channel to be about one topic, right? So don't be afraid to split them out. In other words, I probably would not use one channel for company announcements and happy hours. In that case, I would absolutely separate them. Finally, when starting Slack, remember to slow your roll. You don't want to overwhelm new users with 57 different channels from the start. Now, as an organization progresses, it may have as many channels as that, maybe even more. But if an organization is brand new to Slack, I would start with 10, 15 channels, let people get their arms around it, and let those channels develop organically. Thanks, and good luck with Slack.